Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Doc Ed Padama and this time we are going to discuss an easy way of formulating your research title using the template that I have developed. But before we start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification bell to alert you when a new video has been uploaded just like this one. So later on, uh, recommended videos that would be able to help you in your research writing from chapter 1 to the last chapter until your research defense would be presented and uh, you would be able to see and access all of this for free. So, again, going back to our discussion for today, how to formulate a research title using the template that I have developed. So, this template to easily facilitate the process of uh, creating or formulating a research title is divided into four parts. So what are these four? So I divided this into four elements and basically number one is the goal of your research. The goal of your research. So let us put it here. The goal of your research, the other element is the independent variable and the next one is the dependent variable and then the last one would be the locale of the study. Okay, now uh, trying to simplify the definition of each element, we're going to use the following keywords. So when we refer to the goal, it refers to the direction, what you want to achieve in your particular study. So this refers to the action that you would like to take what would you like to do in your research paper so later on at the bottom of these columns i'd be presenting examples and then eventually we are going to put together these elements and produce a working title that you can use for your research or if not you can formulate your own which is our ultimate objective and our advocacy in teaching research which is to empower all students when it comes to research writing okay so the next element independent variable uh, identifies the uh, problem or the issue that you want to discuss in your study so again the independent variable the independent variable focuses on the problem or issue that you want to investigate in your study so for our keyword let's use the focus of your study okay now the dependent variable are the variables that are affected by the independent variable or the issue or the problem being investigated so when you try to formulate your dependent variable just try to I think who will be affected by the issue being investigated that is the purpose of these uh, keywords that we are using in order to easily identify even if you change the variables you can easily identify by referring back to these keywords and then the local is simply the area where you will be conducting the study Okay, so from time to time, we're going to move these elements, especially if it is not, uh, if, if does, it does not fit in our space or in our screen later on. So again, uh, setting all of these elements uh, and trying to identify and try, and we have uh, already uh, established how they should be identified. Let's go to our examples now. And uh, the most common example of a goal of this particular element in our research writing, which again, as mentioned earlier, refers to the action or direction that one wants to take in writing the research, you uh, usually or commonly see the terms or the following terms. So again, these are... Uh, fundamental processes that I'm discussing in order to uh, create basic research titles and eventually develop your skills in formulating a higher level of research writing skills. So again, the uh, one common uh, term that you use in uh, that you use and see in research title is the word effects. And then after that, effects is descriptive. Okay, and then other than that. You can use impact. Impact refers to influence. So this may be used uh, for causal comparative or causal relationship. And then the role is also 
descriptive, and then correlation, relationship, and so on and so forth. Okay, so these basically are common terms that you can refer to when you try to set the goal of your research. Okay, so that's one. The second element is on the independent variable, the focus, the problem, the issue that you want to investigate. So in this case, uh, COVID-19 may be an issue, the effect of COVID-19. Okay, another is the new normal, new normal of education. Okay, another is online education. And then another is blended learning. Blended learning. Okay. So, the next one. So, again, these are focuses or areas or problems that you want to investigate and is not affected by any other variable. So, this is what we call the independent variable. And these are examples of our independent variables. Now, when we go to the next element, this is now... Uh, the the variable that is affected by the independent variable and this is what we call the dependent variable so under the dependent variable uh, we may include uh, common uh, respondents respondents and so I'll just uh, write it here so usually these are the respondents and the area affected okay the area affected in uh, the lives of these respondents. So, I, we're, we are going to present an example for this. So, you may include here uh, students, but students are still vague. You can specify students by including the year level of the students. You may also include the course, the program taken by the students in order to simplify the students in terms of uh, freshman students of computer science, okay? So, these, these are more uh, efficient, more effective way of presenting the respondents of the study. And again, as mentioned earlier, aside from the respondents of the study, you also have to include the area affected in, these, uh, in the lives of these respondents. So, in this case, if they are students, we usually... C, academic performance. But again, academic performance is still vague. You try to simplify what particular academic performance in the lives of these respondents. So, you can do this by just stating or simply stating a particular subject uh, in the lives of the student that you want to investigate and you are interested in investigating into, which is mathematics. Again, these are variables. You can readily change them from time to time. Now, with regard to area, okay, area is uh, already... Uh, okay, let's uh, move area on that particular part. When it comes to area, you can uh, write the name of the university provided you get permission from the university and they give their consent that uh, their name may be used in your particular study usually in any academic institutions or higher education institutions or hei they have this committee called the ethics committee which screens the title the proposal from chapters 1 to 3 and the final defended study so these are the stages where the the ethics committee comes into in order to screen if the there are any technical issues or violations with regards to ethics uh in the conduct uh, in the process of conducting your study so the name of the university may be placed there or it, you can also um, uh, exclude the name of the university in the title and include them during the discussion of your background of the study or the respondents of the study, okay, which is inside your ano, research paper or your manuscript. So, this can be a university, 
a high school or even a community. Okay. Okay, so basically we already have uh, completed the elements. You have the goal and you have the following. You have the focus. You have the examples. You have the affected. You have the respondents and the area where it is affected and then the area or local of the study. Now, let us put them all together. So by this, you can already choose from the examples that have been presented. So if I was a student, hypothetically speaking, I would choose and try to identify the effects of uh, blended learning. Okay, uh, this is learning through the use of face-to-face -face and technology. And then uh, students, I'm going to identify the students' uh, year level and the course. And then I'm going to use academic performance in mathematics and then the name of the university if i am going to put all of this together now our title would come out as uh, as follows so the effects the effect of blended learning Okay, so that's uh, the second element to the what year level? Freshmen. Freshmen students. So I'm going to use possessive apostrophe S. Freshmen students in what area of the students' lives? Academic performance in mathematics and then as mentioned earlier you may or may not include the name of the university so this is already a working title the, the effect of blended learning to the freshman students academic performance in mathematics okay so it's as easy as that so again i hope this will uh, enlighten you on an easier way of uh, uh, producing or coming up with a research title using the template that I have presented and this is the result of our title and uh, with this before we end again I would like to ask uh, all of you who are watching my video right now to please subscribe to my youtube channel at docket padama and don't forget to click the notification bell to alert you when a new video has been uploaded on the left side of your screen you're going to see recommended videos that would be able to help you in writing your research paper from chapter one to chapter five up to your research defense so i have coaching videos uh, discussing possible questions that would come up during your defense and uh, aside from that we also have sample uh, defense online which is uh, also available in our youtube channel on the lower, lower right side of your screen you're going to see my my icon when you click that you will be automatically the diverted and directed to subscribing my youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed yet. So again, thank you very much everyone and I hope to see you in our next video. And please share this with your friends so we can also help them learn and develop their skills in research writing. Thank you very much everyone. Stay safe, God bless, and see you on our next video. Bye!